Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, just thank you for being there. Just allowing me just to come into your life. I know I tell y'all this every day, but it's, you're supposed to show appreciation when people can see the change in you or just notice things in you you weren't able to notice in yourself before so it's a true blessing so it's just like when I'm able to, to help y'all get through things and realize things you're doing the same for me as well so I really am saying thank you and I truly appreciate that so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like you're comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just opening up telling me about your empathic gift and how it has impacted your life and I'm sending you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video has gave you good vibes or good understanding or just gave you a, a peace of mind just to have some information like that you want to share, please go ahead and do so. And while you're while you're at it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. Thank you so much for stopping by and showing support. And I hope you're able to get something out of the content of my video today. Um, the music that I'm listening to, um, I don't know if you can really hear it, because I just turned it down, my bad. Free yourself from the evil eye, purify and cleanse yourself, very powerful against negative forces, which we truly need. You know, with us being empaths, you know, we collect everything from the crazy, you know, from crazy energy to evil energy to, oh my freaking goodness, you know, energy. So that's the best thing to have. So I've been, you know, using it for a few minutes or whatever, but, um, you know, if you have anything on, you know, feel like somebody's done something to you or you just feel like you just got too much negative energy around you or you just collect so much stuff throughout the day that's to be able to you know that'll be best thing for you to be able to use if you you know you meditate daily so um today my video is about twin flame 101 um let me see which one is it? Oh, empaths, thank your, thank your past for their services. I know there was this show, you know, I don't know if anybody has ever watched this show called Basketball Wives. And it has Sha Shaquille O'Neal's ex-wife on there, Shawnee. And they had one of these vibes on there that, um, I think her name was Brandy. And I, it was so, so much drama started. And she had this phrase that, you know, when she was ready for her to leave, she said, thank you for your services, but we no longer need you. So you can go about your business. And she said it just so, you know, she was clutching her pearls after she said it. <laughs> but she ain't never left that, you know, nobody never let her die that down. They said, just thank you for your services, Shawnee. Just thank you for the services. And you have to do that with your past. Because our past has taught us so many things. And I know I'll probably say that a lot. But some of, us, some of us need that reminder. We have to thank our past for things. You know, even though it might have might have hurt us, we still learn something out of it. You know, it could have been, you know, a bad experience that you just, you know, went through as childhood. It could have been a bad experience you, you felt with a family loved one. Or it could have been a, you know, experience that you felt from, you know, a spouse. You know, we all go through these experiences for a reason. We all experience these things because, like I tell you, we, we get tired of going through that rotating door where we're going through the same experience but different scenarios. You know, you fall short, you go through these mishaps, and, you know, there's we, we usually have to keep going through that lesson until you know the true lesson of what it's trying to teach you. So it's just like, you know, when you learn these things about yourself, yeah, you might have went through something in your past and the memory is coming up. But I really think to me, to be honest with you, to be, to be, I don't know, um, just keeping it real. It's like, you know, usually the past memories come up for you to let go, but it's just a past memory for it to just remind you of, yes, you went through this, but look, you were able to get through this. You Look, you were able to conquer this. You didn't know how you were going to get through this, but some kind of way you knew you were not alone. We have support systems all over the world.
you know we have some support systems even when we feel like we're you know we're physically alone we might be you know we're gonna have to be the one going through this story of life but we have assistance we have the spirit guys we have mother earth we have universe we can draw all our energy through nature do connection of other people just do life experiences you know we have to thank the things for that you know if even if it was a person that came in your life and stayed there and then you know god forbid they passed away it you learn so much to somebody you know that they loved you so much and it's just like when it comes to my situation with my father even though i wasn't able to meet him uh well actually not meet him again meet him again but you know reunite with him he's always been there with me spiritually he's always been there to hold my hand he's always gave me that pep talk when I truly needed it he always gave me that support when I truly needed it but there was sometimes I would be so stressed out I wouldn't pay attention to the blessings he was trying to give me so you know I had to see the things the omens that kept on presenting itself to me and trying to understand why do these things keep presenting itself to me keep remembering things that I would you know forget about but obviously would resurface for a certain reason so it's just like I have to you know when I hear things and it's just like thank you for its services you know like I said spirit guides come to me through different ways you know I would hear certain words and it's just like oh, okay you know this is what I need to talk about today but um it's just like when we go through these things they you know that your past has taught you a lot you know the people that has walked in and out of your life or, or come towards your direction towards your path has taught you a lot you know some have stayed <clears throat> some have hurt you some have taught you some have left loved you but all of these different things have brought you some kind of experience and it you know even though it might be something negative at that point in time it turned out to be something totally positive if you truly looked at it in a different way it was like a blessing in disguise and it's just like a lot of things that I see in my life that I was sad that went on and you know looking at different ways of seeing things and different projections and different lights and different angles you know you have to do that you have to analyze yourself especially if you're an OCD person you have to analyze things to analyze the analyze and just to analyze the analyzer you know you know and just keep going and keep going so it's just like when you go through these things and you experience them knowing that you know I know I have to keep you know I keep sounding repetitive but we have to remember that there's a reason why spirit guides keep trying to tell me this I don't know if it's just just for myself or it's just others that's going through the same as me you know our path has is bringing us to a certain light is elevating us to things that you know you only imagine and it, it's just you, you are stronger in ways that you never even dreamt of so you know acknowledge yourself give yourself a pat on the back and you know even though the past probably keeps bringing up a certain situation to you you need to go ahead and dive deep and tell see what your past is trying to tell you but once you figure that out go ahead and think it's for our services because if it wouldn't be for the past that you have it wouldn't have brought you to here where you are today so I hope you're able to um, get something out of that message um, I'm so blessed because the fact is like I told y'all like in the second or third video <laughs> that I did not have that strength I had to pray because it's just like after the car accident and it, it was just like one thing after another after another you know I felt physically and emotionally drained you know things happen mishaps happen and I was just really feeling blessed that I was able to get that energy I asked for pull that energy from somewhere to be able to get through these videos to be able to say what I need to say and you know tell what I ne needed to tell so I was able to finish throughout these videos with flying colors and I'm so glad that it didn't just like doze off and get sleepy or whatever but y'all if I'm not back the next day or the day after that you know I'm just taking a break and recharging because I've been doing videos after videos after videos and I think I haven't took a break since last week 
So um, I'm going to go ahead and take a day or two break. Um, knowing me, I'll probably just take a full 12, 13 hours and then go ahead and start making content again. But if you don't see anything for the next day or two, if I just take one day, you know I'll just take one day. If you don't see another notification by a certain time of the day where it is where you're at, then you know I took two days. But I do just know I need to go ahead and recharge because it's been a long week and I've been pushing out a lot of love and light and doing a lot of light working on the outside too so i just need to go ahead and refresh myself so you know if i don't see you well if i don't talk to you the next day or two know that you are always in my heart and you are constantly on my brain and i will love and miss y'all so i will talk to you another uh day or two send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can and, you know, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell, drop me a line, I love a chance to get to know you, give me a thumbs up, like and even share on your social media favorites, and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload me some more videos. And if I didn't say it already, send out as much love and light and positivity, I think I already said that. But know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved, I told y'all I need to take a break. And know that there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. Sending you much love and light and prosperity your way. Much love to you. Peace, blessings, and be wild.